Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I just have a little bit of a rant that I want to ramble off. Um, it has to do with VMware. After it was uh, purchased by Broadcom um, they are changing a lot of stuff. A lot of the stuff with the products and packaging and stuff I'm fine with. They can, they can do that uh, and it, some of it seems even reasonable. But the licensing of uh, the new VMware is, um, is where I don't like it anymore. Um, they have um, decided to stop all the licensing where you actually own the product and everything is being shipped over towards a subscription. So um, when you purchase your VMware you are no longer buying the license, you are buying a subscription to use the product. And um, yeah, that's I don't like that. So um, I'm gonna tell you why. Um, I work at a rather large company, and we have a lot of VMware servers, virtual machines. Oh, for a lot of virtual machines, you also need a lot of hosts. But never mind that. But these VMware virtual machines, thousands of them, it takes quite a while to um, to make a thousand VMware virtual machines. And a lot of these virtual machines, it's not just installing a machine. You put some dedicated software on that. Sometimes you have very expensive consultants come and do the stuff and integrate it into the rest of the system and it costs millions of Danish crowns and even millions of dollars and stuff like that. So you are kind of locked in to that hypervisor when you have built all this stuff around their product and now that um, VMware is changing it to a um, subscription meaning that if you convert your ownership license to the subscription model meaning that um, I don't know it could be um, you might convert your licenses and get the first three years but after the first three years, or one year, or two years, I don't know how long it's... I really have no idea how long they're gonna go for. But when those first initial uh, period of time, which you might get cheaper, you might not get it cheaper, we'll get back to that, um, and you have to renew it, they can set the price at whatever they wanna set the price to it's gonna be very expensive for the company to say ah, ah, we're not gonna do that we're gonna to move to something else thousands of VMs very difficult to move and um, if you're just running out of your subscription you would need to uh, prolong your subscription to move it to something else whereas if you uh, were owning the licenses like it is now um, you could just well we will uh, move over to this other system and we'll just cancel our um, service. So at the moment we own the licensing and we are just purchasing service on the software. Meaning that you can um, you get the newer versions and if there's any trouble you, VMware will help you solve those issues. Um, but mostly it's you, you get the new versions and can change to that and uh, at no cost as long as you have the subscription to your VMware licensing. But you could kind of stick with the last version that you're running with your services runs out and you would be good for that uh, for as long as ever, forever ish. That way you have the long middle finger that you could um, help to negotiate or actually move to something else instead of being forcefully uh, made to pay a lot of extra money for this product and it does definitely seem like they're gonna go that route they're gonna kick up the prices I have a um, have an example I can't name the company because I was told not to forward this but we have this rather large company here in Denmark that makes a lot of um, green energy and they are using VMware uh, quite a lot of it and I believe they're, they were paying around 5.6 million Danish crowns a year to run VMware 
doesn't matter what that is in dollars or anything else but 5.6 million Danish kroners a year so bef in December last year uh, before the Broadcom thing was finalized they got a new price uh, for what this was supposed to be costing them forward going forward and they got a price of 7.3 million Danish kroners so you, you can kind of see it it has the price has gone up by 1.7 ish and they were very pissed about that they didn't want to pay anything more so they did they didn't go for that and said well we're gonna wait and then Broadcom bought the whole thing and now they want 13 million Danish kroners to continue with this company so instead of 5.6 million they want 13 million that's quite an increase in price that's uh, that's double up with a little bit extra on the side so yeah I'm not a fan of this if this was my decision I would do the decision of not converting my VMware licensing at all just keep the licenses that I have if I need something more I would buy new VMware licensing and then I would just keep the ones that I have and then when the service runs out of them I would purchase um, third-party service for my VMware at that point you can't get the new version or anything but probably the version that you have is gonna be good for years to come VMware ESXi is at version 8 I'm sure we could stay on version 8 for the next five years no problem whatsoever if something really brilliant comes along we might have a cluster that we want to run the newest and the greatest on and we could then go and purchase that subscription for that cluster while still having all of these uh, licensing that we're not paying anything for because we own them <laughs> we're only paying third-party service for those and that is probably going to be cheap that's just so that we have someone smarter than us to call if something goes wrong we wouldn't probably get much support from VMware maybe you could buy some support from VMware if you're in a pickle they're probably gonna charge a premium but it might be possible to buy VMware by the hour to fix your issues at normal consultants wages I don't know but keep the license that I have and buy new ones if I need more or if new features arrive so that way I decide when I want to pay more money for it so uh, yeah that's my um, my little rant I would love to hear your suggestions in the comments below of uh, if you know of someone who is now paying a lot more for their VMware licensing also if you know someone who is paying less I guess a lot of the companies that uh, decided that they didn't want to stick with VMware is paying less and uh, I am also the server with Proxmox is still up and running and I haven't gotten very far I thought that I was gonna do your video on how easy it was to move your VMware virtual machines from VMware to Proxmox and it turns out it's not easy funny enough VMware helps you a lot if you want to move stuff into VMware there is not a lot of help moving out of VMware so uh, yeah if you have a really awesome way of moving stuff from VMware and over to Proxmox I would also very much like to see that in the description sorry I would also very much like to see that in the comments of the video so that I can uh, continue and get that video done when I know how so uh, Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.